in the year of 2020, God revealed to me that there was a virus uh, called COVID-19 that was created in a laboratory. Do you hear me? Now, when I revealed this on Facebook Live and posted it, this virus, they didn't release it saying it was created in a laboratory. They just said that it came from China from someone eating bat soup and then it, tra it traveled through the plane from China and all throughout the people. But the Lord showed me that it came from a laboratory. And I posted this and I did a Facebook Live in 2020. On Saturday, April 11th, the Lord brought me into, he brought me into a laboratory, like a factory. Oh my God. He brought me into a factory. And while I was there, I saw people and creating a virus. I even heard the substances they were using to create this virus. So God showed me in this vision. He showed me in a laboratory and I saw them creating a substance and I saw two, I saw two leaders. I saw two leaders who were smiling and God revealed to me a, a radar, a radar. And I saw the, I saw the number 300 drift from 1.6 million. I don't know if it was cases or deaths, but the Lord showed me. Then he showed me a mist that would come into the radar and I saw people falling. And I began to hear the screams of people dying, the screams of people going crazy over this virus. And the Lord began to tell me, he said, get your people to pray. Let your people pray because these things are going to take place whether we pray or not. But God is saying, pray so the number of casualties are below. God's saying, pray so your family is spared. And I get to see in the news news reports of millions of people dying and what i what i saw was something worse that's currently currently going on in this world today it was currently worse because i remember in my dream i was in my basement with a sweater covering my mouth and saying to my brothers yo this is worse this is worse than what we had with the covid 19. now in the same year of 2020 the lord showed me that there will be another virus that will be much worse than COVID-19. Hear the Spirit of the Lord. There will be a virus that will come soon. It's coming. It's right around the corner. That will be worse than uh, uh, COVID-19. I saw it. And there's no praying against this thing, but you can pray for the protection of the Lord because the Bible talks about pestilence and disease that will come into the earth in the last days. So these things are inevitable. You cannot avoid these things. They will come and you will see its ugly head. But the Lord has shown me that these things will come. A virus that I saw that people begin to take, try to take refuge in their basements, not want to step outside. We saw a glimpse, what we saw of, yes, and this thing is man-made. This thing is created. This thing is planned, but it's also yoked with the demonic spirit. It is yoked with an entity, and you must understand this. And those who are living pure before the Lord, they will remain protected. They will remain preserved in this time of calamity. There's many of you that do not believe in these viruses but i'm telling you by the spirit of god it's man-made and dangerous to kill you and you will begin to see other prophets other men of god begin to release this word because it's coming god told me three god told me in 2020 that this thing was coming another virus where I begin to say in my vision that this is worse than COVID-19. And I had my mouth covered with some type of mask or whatever in my mouth and saying this, I saw people begin to fall. And God showed me that th these viruses are the working of nations. It's not just one nation, it's the working of nations multiple nations working together specifically i saw with COVID 19 was china and america working together so if you think america was not in what was happening with COVID 19 you got it all wrong i saw china and america in it together let's and i saw it released unto the earth and in the same way you will see something worse coming that will hit the earth coming soon this is the time to make sure that we are right with the lord this is the time that we have. You must have lives of righteousness, lives of purity, lives of prayer, because these pestilences, these, these pestilences, and these diseases are coming without repentance.